Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. In the chapel, John 20, 27. Stop doubting and believe. So, obviously I've got some things going on. I know God's got this. But it's just, I try to throw that worry away, that doubt. It's easier said than done. So, yeah. All right, in the basket. I talked to you guys last week about Christmas for the office and I said I was gonna make cows I've made my list just for the office I haven't done my personal list so I'm gonna start sitting down and making lists and assigning who's getting what but I had this one on the hook and I finished it it's just a stretchy cowl um, I made this one which it's a little tight for me, but there are some girls that have smaller heads. Okay, that's messing up my hair. But anyway, you get the point. Um, it's one of those little wraps. It keeps your ears warm. And then I did a stripey one. No, the ends. You know me. I haven't showed you. I haven't woven the ends yet, but I will before I give them away. Um, so, this and it really, they're really cute. Um, I try them all on just because. Um, and I have one that I'm making just a little bit wider on the ears and it's white and gray. The white is gonna be the twisty part and then the gray is gonna be the back and it will be a headband, just like the other one. Only it's a couple of stitches wider. Um, I'm estimating to get, I have five done so far. Those, the tan and the gray that you saw, the gray ribbed and then the tan that was just flat. And then these three are done, so that's five. This is the sixth. I plan on getting at least two more out of this, maybe a three, and I added in another gray so that I could get all 10 of them out of this yarn that's in here. So this is, stuff that I've decided is I think I have enough in here to finish five more um, and get all of those done now that being said um, there are four people in the office that this won't work for it well it will but it's not going to so first is um, George he's a gentleman I'm just gonna make one of those wider manlier scarves if he uses it, he uses it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Um, and then for the office manager, the kit that I made and used as a prize, she, remember she opted because she didn't crochet. She wanted one crocheted, but she doesn't crochet. She weaves. So I told her, I said, you can have the finished kit or you can have the regular kit. She took the finished. I'm using the other kit and making a scarf or wrap because it is kind of wider than a scarf so it's kind of a wrap I'm gonna make that for the office manager okay she's the one that hired me she's my immediate supervisor um, yeah she's my boss so she's gonna get a wrap um, then for the two vets in the office I have come up with this and I know you guys remember, let me see here, this yarn, I talked about it. I hate, it was sent for a summer um, wrap or scarf. And I started it and it looked horrible, I hated it. And the picture of that scarf um, didn't show it made with this yarn at all. Okay, that is not, what was made in the pictures. The pictures didn't even resemble the yarn. It was made with pastels, and I do believe it was made more with a cotton or a fingering weight. It, it was not this. So, I told y'all I ripped it out. You know, I had started. I ripped it out, and hopefully I won't tear out any stitches. it tangles if you frog with this just saying so I started this okay this 
is about halfway through. I mean, I'm guessing. It says it's 623 yards, so I don't know. But, yeah, I'm about halfway through a skein. Okay. Um, I'm going to use the whole skein. However long it is is however long it is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be long enough. Um, and then I thought, I don't want the two vets to have them identical, but I have this other skein. So I've decided I'm going to pull from the outside. Okay. Again, it'll start with the yellow green and you can see this just tied in a knot. Um, so I'm going to have it start with the yellow green where the blue and the orange is, and then it will end with the corner being the blue and the orange. It'll be the same shawl, different coloring, same yarn, same everything. I'm even going to use the same hook. Okay. Now that being said, I want you guys to realize that I have made that pattern several times. And if there's one point to this video today, I want you to experiment with your patterns. People who've been crocheting a long time sometimes catch on to this very quickly, sometimes not so much. The, oh my goodness, they've got me surrounded. <laughs> it's the dogs. Hitch is behind me and Worm is at my feet. Worm is getting big. I know I'm going off, I'm going off topic, but Worm is getting big. And there goes Hitch. He's leaving us. Okay. Um, yeah, Worm has doubled in size. Just saying. Okay, so back to what I was talking about. Enough, enough of the dog thing. Um, I have used that virus shawl pattern. And I probably should have taken pictures and just put them side by side by side. And I haven't. But this is light and airy and a very pretty shawl. Okay. Made with thread cotton. It looks very delicate. Then I made one. And I may have made two. I can't remember. The cake and a shawl. I used that yarn. And it's called cake and a shawl. Or a shawl in a cake. Shawl in a cake. I don't know. It had glitzy stuff and I made a virus shawl with it. I also used some of our yarn and from the Straw Family Farm, the mohair wool blend, fingering weight, and I made me personally a virus shawl. Then I've taken the same pattern done it in <clears throat> DK weight and a little bit different size hook and I did it in a worsted weight and a different size hook. <coughs> mm, sorry, I have a tickle. Um, and then I made those into ponchos. They're very heavy. The gray and white was the worsted, the red was the fingering or DK. The fingering weight was the one I personally made. And this I'm using four strands. And then I did um, a shawl, a shawl and a cake. Anyway, whatever that was. Um, all very nice wraps. Um, all very nice products. Same pattern. Way different results. So any pattern that you have, try seeing it with something different. Try changing up the yarn. Try changing up the, you know, I'm going to take the pattern that came with this kit right here and I'm going to make it, but I think I'm going to make it not with a thread cotton um, and definitely not with those colors, but I think I want to make it with like a baby yarn. I think it would be really cute not fuzzy but just you know how they have pink and blue and yellow and green and they're just they're more of a DK weight they're a little bit softer anyway I think I'm gonna make it with those I'll find a, a really pretty variegated one and it'll look amazing um, so yeah anyway think about 
how you can change your patterns because this is something to think about too because you can dissect a pattern okay now I know that everybody's going oh I'm not to that point in my crochet but I just want you to think about it all it takes is graph paper your regular old graph paper and yes they still make it graph paper you know and if you look the pattern is just this chain section and this shell section this large shell section and then it repeats and this part repeats if you want to turn the corner and you wanted to take this out um so don't turn the corner you can take that section of this pattern you can just take the shell part section and lay them next to each other you can make it square you can make it you can dissect this pattern in so many different ways and it's really any pattern now this one is super simple so people catch on and it's easy to show you the actual pattern section because it's very distinct the shell and the triangle that's the repeats that's the pattern that goes over and over and over and over again okay um it's just the way you put it together so if you like that little section put it together and then see where to start it sounds silly but any pattern is just that a pattern and if you make a mistake in a pattern here is my advice to you people say this is just an example so we're doing a cow on this virus shawl and this lady I, I don't know if she got through a certain part and just realized that she had maybe read it wrong but see this right here there is a double crochet here and then you double crochet in that next double crochet skipping this whole four chain well she had put a single crochet in between she double crocheted single crochet double crochet and she asked she goes is there a double is there a single crochet in there and I guess she'd made like four rows so she was maybe this far in just a blue section okay um, and she says is there not a single crochet in there and of course everybody came on and corrected her and I didn't I simply put if you made the mistake in every spot every section like that if you repeat it in the pattern every time that it comes to that point it becomes a modification and the pattern is now your individual style or whatever I said I wouldn't frog it I wouldn't go back and rip it all out just continue making that mistake so many times that it becomes a modification and I said make sure you make it every point at that point in the pattern make that mistake every time she said she liked that idea she didn't have to start over and that's what she was gonna do she modified the pattern and she really liked the fact that I said oh that's just a, a pattern modification now I didn't criticize I didn't you know tell her it was a mistake mistake I just said it's not a mistake if you repeat it in every spot then it becomes a pattern modification and you can leave it and she was like that's cool remember patterns are just things you repeat so if you're making a mistake just repeat the mistake and as long as it lays flat you're good just like this pattern change the yarn change the hook change you know the corner change make it yours make it yours um this pattern oh, excuse me, is super versatile and that's why I can modify it my eyes close I know this pattern by heart I don't even read this pattern anymore <laughs> I don't even know if I have my written down copy anymore okay literally and it's a good thing it's a free pattern because I'm about to tell you you chain uh, 10 then you put oh sorry that's not even center chain 10 and then you've got double crochet and 19 or two chain two you have a chain two link that counts as your first double crochet then you 19 double crochets across then you fill in each one again 
then you crochet one, chain one, crochet one, chain one, double crochet, chain all the way across. Um, and then you start with this big loopy strand. It's super, super easy. Okay. I don't even need the pattern anymore because I do it. I modify it to make ponchos and shawls and all that good stuff. And I plan on doing that consistently. I, I really like the pattern. I've thought about dissecting it and making it into something else, changing the shape of it. Uh, yeah, I've thought about how to make it square by decreasing the number of patterns, but I haven't put it out on paper yet. It's like up in here and I haven't put it on paper and that would be really cool to be able to do a square out of it. Anyway, make a little blanket, a little airy. Yeah. So anyway, um, I digress. <laughs> Just remember a pattern is a pattern, but if by changing the yarn, changing the hook, changing what you do with it, it makes it your individual one. And I plan on changing the pattern, not the pattern, the yarn that came with this kit. I'm going to take that pattern, put a different yarn with it and make it different. And I'm going to make these for uh, the vets. Very few of the patterns have I really gone in and changed. So far I've been doing this for seven months and the first one I just absolutely hated the pattern. I'm it's the yarn that it had the hat, the, the headband, the scarf, and the mittens. And that stitch I didn't like it. I don't it made the mittens so bulky that it was horrible. The hat was super bulky. All of it was just too bulky to be practical. It was cute, yes, but too bulky. So I frogged all of those and made them into the cowls. Bulky and a cowl is okay. Bulky and mittens is not, especially when you see how big an adult mitten is. I mean, it was gonna be huge, no. So anyway, I've done that one and this one, is the only other one that I have not approved or put together the way that they said. Um, the rest of it I think I'm good with. So, uh, whew, I don't know why I'm tired. It's, I've had enough sleep, I don't know. Anyway, so that is that. Um, let's see, what else do we have going on? <laughs> That's what I'm working on in the basket, totally hooked. On the wheel, I don't have anything I had hoped to start spinning, but then I decided I want to get Christmas done and then I can spin whatever I want. In the fields, I don't have anything um, other than, I guess, the food drop. It would probably be more in the farmhouse. I don't know. We'll talk about it in a minute. RJ's World. That's where I need to quit doubting and just have faith. Um, I know God's got this. I just can't see the end result and it's driving me crazy because it it involves RJ and he's still having trouble with the truck the house chimney the insurance if one of those things had happened at a time I think he'd be okay but he's stressing because they both happened at the same time and there's deductibles on everything and money going out and he, he's had to grow up really hard really fast and I am helping him so um, yeah, it, it just is hard when he's having to grow up that fast. He didn't realize what it took to get an insurance job done for the house. He's still fighting with them on that. And we have insurance, but it's amazing how the insurance doesn't want to pay. So, yeah. Anyway, he's just dealing with that. And I just need to... I know God's got this, but I need to quit worrying about it and just have that faith, the ultimate faith. That is my goal, and that's what I've always called it, is ultimate faith. Just to not really have faith, just to know. Absolutely, 100%, 
never give it another thought. God's got this. We're done. Case closed. Yeah. This has to do with RJ. He's my son. I'm a little worrying, you know, never want him to have to go through anything. He's my kid, you know. So trying to let him grow up, but still worrying about him. And I need to quit that. Uh, it, it's going to be fine. We, he just has to figure a way and find options. And I have been at work, so I haven't always had a chance to do any of that. Um, is what it is. So, anyway, um, that's his world right now. In the farmhouse, I have started a food journal with, and we just started it yesterday, um, with the office manager just trying to eat better. I find that I snack more, and it's easy. Roommate, I have a Sam's card, and so I'll go and get the stuff for roommate's lunch because roommate doesn't get to leave the site. Stuck there at lunch, eats whatever is brought. So, um, I'll go to Sam's and I'll pick up those little individual bag of chips and little individual bag of cookies and that kind of stuff. Um, now, unfortunately, it makes it easy for me to stack, too. I mean, after all, I bought it, right? So, I've been snacking a little bit more than I should, and I don't like it. So, I am doing a food journal and watching my snacking. I went and bought a bunch of fruits, and if I'm going to snack, that's what I'm going to snack on is fruit. Uh, so... I did a little bit of research and they said that fruit shrinks your tummy. I don't know how true that is, okay? It's just I need more fruits and vegetables in my diet. So I've gone to adding lettuce to my sandwiches, having a salad with every meal, um, snacking on fruits instead of cookies. I'm just trying to get more fruits and vegetables into my diet. And I like fruits more than I like vegetables just saying it's the truth so I'm not hiding it <coughs> but um we're just sharing rep recipes that are healthy and different stuff and and simple things that we can do to just eat healthier not so much weight but just eat healthier so we've got that going on and then um Saturday, I had an extra day, uh, roommate was on overtime, so I had the house to myself, and I thought about it, and I decided I didn't just want to give gift bags, I get tired of them always being the same, like you can buy a, a six pack of little gift bags to put these little cows in for what, three dollars, four dollars, and then everybody's is the same, you get a six pack for three dollars, you think, ooh, getting them for 50 cents, not a problem. Well, I get tired of it. So I want them to like be different and individually thought out. To, <sighs> yeah, no. Because then it runs you, you can't get 50 cents a bag. They're all a dollar to two dollars a bag. So it doubles your cost. So do I want individuality or affordability? None. I was um, out doing some grocery shopping and saw this and anyway so I simply bought I don't know one two three four five six seven fourteen fat quarters it was some of them were 97 cents a piece and some of them were a dollar 47 a piece and each fat quarter got me one solid bag but I mixed and matched when I cut them in half so and then I put canned snaps on. These are the gift bags for Christmas. And I found um, this material right here. It's really cute. It's puppy dogs. Again, I work for a vet office. So I found that one and I found two fat quarters of it. And then I found 
this, and they had a lot of fat quarters of this. Um, and so I just picked up like six. The only thing that I changed, I made all of them into little bags the same exact size. Um, I changed, I got, I don't know, I got an orange, I got a teal, I got a blue. This is like a burgundy, rusty kind of red. It's a darker red, like a brick red, I guess. And then I got this pink. Um, and mix and matched, I only ended up with two that were exactly the same. And that's the paw prints with pink. It's an office full of ladies at the vet store. So I don't really think this will be too hard to receive. But anyway, then I put little cam snaps on them. Um, the lining itself kind of changes the color of the bag. I don't know if you can see. See, you can kind of see the lining through the through the orange and this one it doesn't show up very well on camera but it it changes it just enough that it's kind of cute um so i made these and then i put two cam snaps on each one so that i wanted them to be able to reuse the bag and i didn't know if they would need closures or not and i didn't want to put handles on it. i think handles on these size bag looks kind of dorky so i have these and inside each of these is gonna go one of the cowls or one of the headbands, whatever. And I honestly thought about a game if we have like a Christmas meal together. I'm just gonna hand them out and then we're gonna form a circle, flip a coin to see who goes first, and then, or have somebody just close their eyes and spin and point and that's it. Um, so, then they do the trade thing. Like they open theirs and they get to trade one time. And then the next person opens, they get to trade one time. When it comes back around, the first person that opened theirs gets to trade one time. So I made those. Um, just took me a day to make all 10. It didn't even really take me a day because I did other things too. But uh, yeah, so I did those. And that's for, again, the office. I've got the shawls this the little wrap and then i've got to come i haven't even started george's the groomer he's the man i i thought about maybe a beanie hat too so i don't know i will find something manly for him and put him and he won't need a little gift bag you know i'll just put something nice on it wrap it nicely or whatever same as i'm going to do with these others, I'm just gonna wrap them in uh, plain brown paper and jute. You know how I am, and that's how they're gonna be given out, and they'll have their names on them, and they're good. So, um, I think you're up to date on just about everything. Uh, little worm, he's he goes for his next set of shots this next week. The no. I'm sorry, ne or this week, you're right, next week is, is worms. Hitch goes this week, we're gonna try again. This time we're gonna have to, I've talked to the vet and she's going to sedate him. And once sedated, they're gonna trim his nails, they're gonna give him all his shots. Um, the only thing they managed to get last time was a fecal, which he came up clean. He doesn't have Giardia or any of those terrible diseases and internal things. So his fecal is clean. Uh, he's not wormy, I guess you'd say. Um, but he's going to be fully vetted, but he will be sedated. So therefore, he has to be watched. Um, I'd like to be able to take him home at my lunch hour so I don't have to take him and worm at the same time. But I may have to don't know uh yeah we'll see how that goes um but anyway that is the one thing that we're working on and then hitch gets vetted this week and then next week worm gets his next set of puppy shots his final ones and then he gets starts getting his big boy shots his big boy shots oh come here you want to be on camera oh hmm Mm. Oh, love you too. Mm. I know. 
Mm, he's just waking up. He always sleeps at my feet. Um, he's so used to being at my desk at work that he just sleeps wherever. And then he goes and we have his playpen. And he attacks his playpen and his toys. Hmm? You gonna put your face up there? Say hello. Hello. Oops. There we go. There he is. There he is. <laughs> and anyway, he is, he's my big baby. He's doing really good. All right. Hey, 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 hey. And he normally lays. I got his leg up. There we go. There we go. He normally lays just like this. Was that a big yawn again? Was that a big yawn? And that's it. He's going to go back to sleep if I don't put him down. Hey, do you want to go play with brother? He will lay here for hours. Hey, come on. Come on. Yes, who's that? Is that your hitch? All right, go down and play. Go play. Probably time to take him out. So, anyway. We've had a little shot of cuteness there. Hey, hitch, quick. Um, play nice. So, I think that's all that's going on in the farmhouse. You've got a taste of the... Thing. I hope to have the Christmas done. I know that this seems like I just posted and I'm posted. My day off last week was Thursday and I don't think I got it posted till Saturday because I got sidetracked and today is Tuesday, my only day off this week. So I'm still recording just once a week, but it's like from Thursday to Tuesday. So it just seems like I just uploaded, but this is this week's and you won't get another one for another week. Um, but yeah, all right, I'm going to get off here. I've got to go and do some laundry. i got to take the little one out to go pee. Um, and we will see y'all next time. And thank you for watching. Say a prayer for us. Love, hugs, and blessings. Bye.